Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. And today I'm going to be revamping one of my old wigs. This wig isn't that old, but I'm ready to do something new to it. If you guys don't know already, I'm not the girl who's going to get some hair, buy some new hair, and just keep buying new hair. No, we're going to keep on using this same hair until we can't use it anymore. So this wig I applied on my channel about two months ago. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. But what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing a totally different cut. On that video, I showed how to do, you know, a very natural cut and how to use a roller brush and just to have a bouncy and volumized bob without using any flat iron. But in this video, I'm going to be doing a totally different cut and I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to curl well, not really curl, but bump the hair good enough with a flat iron so it can just be super cute and laid. The purpose of me spraying the water on the hair, that's what was in the spray bottle. It's just water. The purpose of me doing that is because the hair is dry and I'm just trying to mold the hair back down so it can be this new style. That's going to make or break your wig. When you're making wigs, you want to make sure you mold it down so it can be exactly how you need it to be. And what I'm cutting right now, those are going to symbolize the baby hair, but I'm really not going for any baby hair look. I'm just... You'll see what I'm trying to do. But now we're going to go ahead and get into the cutting segment. When you're cutting a blunt cut, this is going to be a blunt cut, but it's also going to be a flowy natural cut, which you guys will see in the end. When you're cutting, you want to make sure you go straight across, but you also have to tilt the head, whether you're doing this on a mannequin or your client you're going to have to make sure you tilt the head over and downwards whatever you're cutting say for example i'm cutting this side once i finish cutting like this i'm going to have to lean the head over and cut underneath because there are other invisible hairs that you can't see but once you start to turn your head and look down you'll see all the flaws and all the errors you need to make sure that you cut this the correct way once you start to move around the whole head you'll see that you can use the hair that you already cut as a guide. So see how I just grabbed up some new hair? The hair that I already cut, I'm just going to keep going in that same direction, that same pattern, that same cut, that same everything. See how I'm grabbing new hair and I'm just following along with the guide? That's how you're going to achieve this cut. You guys can't really tell probably, but... The mannequin head is leaned down at this moment and I'm cutting all of the hairs underneath that I was telling you guys about. If you don't do this step, what's going to happen is when you lean your head down or your client leans their head down, you're going to see all of the flaws in the cut. Make sure you fix it and make sure you do this correctly. You don't want to rush your cut because it will show. This is some new mousse that I'm trying out. If you guys don't know, I'm living in Germany at this time and I don't have access to all of the supplies that I normally would use back at home. But I would not recommend this when you're doing an install because I'm pretty sure that this may have some oil or alcohol in it because as I was testing it out, I realized that this is not a good candidate because it allows my lace to lift up. So it must have some oil in it or some alcohol. I'm not sure which one it is, but don't use this if you're using glue on your install. But as far as molding your wig down, you can definitely use this product to mold your wig down. This um, mousse is made by Bedhead and it's not that expensive. I got it here at my local store, but 
you guys can use Afro-G, Nairobi, or Blow Pro Volume. You guys have access. If you have access, you have access to the best products. Now, this lace tint, oh my gosh, the new packaging is everything. It has the instructions on the back. It looks very neat, professional. Not that it wasn't professional before, but it's just super professional now. I'm so proud of Tailored Crowns. And you guys can go ahead and check this product out. The lace tint that I use on myself is a medium brown. And what this does, it just allows the lace to look a little more natural and to blend with your skin better. When you're using the lace tint, you do not use makeup with it. You can if you want to, but it's you really sh like it's no purpose it's either one or the other you either want to use lace tint or you want to use makeup now that your wig has dried and molded itself down you're going to go ahead and just take a fine tooth comb as you see me doing and comb out you know the foam wrap you're going to take some oil or oil sheen which is what i just showed you whether you want to use the bio silk or you want to use this oil sheen both of them work great spray it on the hair and now we're going to get into the styling process the flat iron that I'm going to be using is a Conair. You can only get this particular one at Ulta. I'll attach the link down below. It was about $43 and it works really, really, really good. I really, really love this flat iron. It gets really, really hot. And for $43, you can't beat it. And another bonus is it's really, really cute. But you're just going to take pieces of the hair, get a bone carbon comb, that means, you know, usually when you're using a comb with a flat iron, it'll melt. But with the bone comb, whether you want to call it a bone comb or a carbon comb, whatever, whatever you want to call it, there's many different terms. But anywho, this comb is very, very special because it does not melt when you use heat with it. This is very good to use. You can also use a, another type of comb. I don't know the professional name for it, but I call it a straightening flat iron comb. And I'm gonna paste the picture down right now. When you're doing this process, you don't really wanna curve the flat iron under too much because that's gonna give you too much of a bump. You just want to go ahead and lightly do it use the comb to chase behind the hair and form you know the the correct bump that you will need
All I'm doing is going ahead and defining my part a little bit more. Now we're going to take just a tad bit of some got to be spray, blow dry it a little bit. Then you're going to take the lace and lay it down. Tap, 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 and it'll be dry before you know it. This process is pretty much complete. I also have a video when I showed you guys a few days ago how to attach an elastic band to your wig. This is that same exact wig. I had to throw my glasses on real quick or whatever i love 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 these glasses but i hope you guys love this video and these techniques and these tips as much as i love doing it showing it and wearing it get into this bob hunty get into this bob get into this hair quality get into this flow Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. And I'm just going to show you guys, no matter how much you move, shake your head. As long as you molded your hair down correctly and as long as you did that cut right, you'll be good. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.